Hi folks, Rusty with Sagacity All Stream Fabrication Engineering here with another episode in our basic tech series. You know, temperature is one of the most prevalent process measurements in industry today. One of the easiest ways to measure process temperature is with a bimetal thermometer. Bimetal thermometers have been around since the 18th century and are so named because of the bimetallic strip that's located inside of the tube that makes up the insertion tube of the thermometer. This bimetallic strip is wound into a helix. That helix, when temperature is applied, tries to expand and that mechanical twisting, when connected to a pointer mechanism, gives us an indication of temperature. This mechanical means allows us to have a visual indication rather than an electronic device which requires electricity. The items you need to take into consideration when specifying a bimetal thermometer include the dial size. Dial sizes typically range from one inch all the way up to six inch. The most common sizes in the process industries are three inch and five inch. As a general rule, the larger the dial size, the higher the resolution, and in many cases, the higher the accuracy. The range of the device. Because we have a bimetal helical strip in a tube, there are some mechanical considerations in that. You can only view about 600 degrees of range. You can't get much more motion out of that helix. So if you're gonna specify a range maximum temperature reading of 800 degrees F, you're probably not going to see temperature much below 250 F with that device. When you're specifying these, you need to take into consideration you have a limited range. After you've figured out your range and the type of dial you'll need, you'll also need to determine the type of lens. The most common types of lenses are glass or safety glass, but they can also be made out of polycarbonate or acrylic. I'm sure your facility has a standard you'll want to check. The actual dial face can be multiple different colors. In some instances, you can have a luminescent paint on the background, which will make it easy to see in low light applications. There's two types of connections on the back of the dial. This particular connection is a direct mount very common in industry, but if you have a thermometer on the top of a tank and you need to be able to see it, you'll probably want to use an any angle mounting. Any angle allows you to adjust the actual angle of the dial in relation to the thermometer so that you can set this up for the best opportunity to view the temperature from an angle like on a catwalk or somewhere like that, easy to get to. Right below, is our process connection. If you looked at our previous videos concerning RTDs and thermocouples, you'll know that this probably is not going to be used as a process connection per se, except in applications like refrigeration where you can install the device and it's not coming in direct contact with a process. If you're coming into contact with a process, you'll probably use a thermal well. That's also covered in one of our previous episodes. A thermal well is actually a piping component. This allows you to install your bimetal thermometer and meet process piping code and be able to take the thermometer out if it happens to fail and replace it without interrupting your process. Go back and watch our episode on thermal wells in a previous episode. This stem length needs to match your thermal well. This is called the U length. If we're going to call this as our process connection, we're talking about where that's going to thread into your thermal well. The most common type of process connection on a thermometer is half inch MPT, but there are other mounting styles and you'll need to make sure that whatever connection you have on your thermometer is also going to be matched on your thermal well. The final point of interest is our stem length, better known as the U-length. There's a U-length for your well that has to be matched to the U length of your thermometer. Once we have our stem length and we know how far our insertion depth is, we can finish specifying our bimetal thermometer. 
that covers it for bimetal thermometers. If you've had applications for these devices, leave us a comment below and let us know where you've used them. Or if you have an application, drop us a line and we'll be sure and help you out with your application. If this has been helpful, be sure and like and share these videos with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.